Hello there, YouTube. This is Anthony Tis Films. Sorry for the delay. Uh, I'm reviewing here some clips, Image S4s. Now, that, that is the retail package here. Uh, however, we're not going to do the packages in too much. Uh, basically, it's the, 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 the phones, the headphones come with uh, their carrying case, earbuds, and some tips. Three tips for three different sizes. So you have small, medium, and large. Uh, it's only one of each tip, pardon me. And the, the manual, and as well as an earwax cleaner. Now, these headphones were uh, $79.99 at Best Buy. I was very pleased to find to hear, to hear that they had them at Best Buy. I had been in the market for a while now for purchasing some headphones. However, I hadn't seen any retailers selling any of the higher end headphones. So I was stuck waiting and researching. I didn't want to buy them online because I was really scared of again getting some fakes. Uh, it's very common for you to get some fake headphones online uh, unless you get them from like a very reputable uh, store. In which case you're going to be paying uh, top dollar for them as well as shipping costs and sometimes taxes as well. So I was looking around trying to make sure that I got the best headphones. Found these on Best Buy, immediately recognized them from uh, CNET's top 10 headphones uh, as they were rated the number ones. The sound quality on them is tremendously great. They do require 200 hour burn ins, which means you leave your, 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 your uh, MP3 player or some device with sound on at 80% volume or 20% volume higher of what you normally use. So if you use 40% at volume, then put them at 60 and leave them on for about about a week. Just like keep listen, uh, playing them over at night, just letting you know burn in, get that burn in uh, on the uh, on the magnets and the micro speakers. Now these speakers are great. Uh, they're very good. I haven't heard anything under the $200 value range that sound as good as these. Uh, and I've tried some Shures, I've tried Bose, I've tried Edemonics, uh and I've tried a few other brands here and there, but they were not impressive at all to even mention. Um, I tried Skull Candies too. Uh, I have no idea why people rate Skull Candies as good, to be honest with you. I mean, sure, they're cheap like hell, sure, they have cool little packaging, but they suck. They're bassy, they're, they're not good. Uh, anyways, these have, let me get to the review actually. These have tremendously good balance between your, your lows, your mids, and your highs, and your bass. Uh, they're very well balanced. The bass is not overwhelming, but it isn't too soft like you would you, you would find with perhaps some harmonics. Or, 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 um, and they're not too powerful, like say for example, maybe some shirts which might uh, uh, overwhelm the, the balance, the armature. Um, these have great balance on them, like I said, they have very smooth uh, lows. They have very crisp uh, mids, and they have tremendously crystal clear highs. The, ba the bass is extremely well balanced. It's, it's not overwhelming, and it's not too weak. Uh, of course, if you are a bass enthusiast, and you love your hip-hop, and you love your, your bass or your jazz or whatever, then I do recommend that you maybe get some shirts instead, since they do come with a little more bass than the, than the clips. However, both, as you may, I mean, I'm pardon me, Sure, as you may know, they do suffer from some, uh, from some balancing issue, issue, <coughs> issues. Best because of the overwhelming bass. Anyways, these earbuds sound great. I haven't even, I haven't even used them uh, under equalized equalizers because I'm still waiting to get a better sound card uh, so that they can really shine. Um, they're still extremely good. I immediately tell the difference from my pre uh, previous headphones. I have had Philips uh, sound canceling headphones, I had some multi glancing headphones, and I had some of these Zoom stock headphones, and like I mentioned before, I've tried uh, other several uh, upper $200 range uh, earbuds, uh, and none of them sounds as good. Um, the, the only ones that I have tried, that I have I had the pleasure of trying, were some Shores. Uh, they were the really high-end versions, and they were like about $300 online. Uh, so, I mean, sure, whenever you pay $300, you should expect better sound. But those were the only ones that did sound better. Uh, they do come with noise casting uh, features uh, using sealing of your ear. Uh, these earbuds, as you can tell, they're a little different than other ones as they're oval shaped, uh, not uh, round, not perfectly round as normal. 
This is so that they fit in your ear canal much better. Clips did some tests according to them and revealed that 3D, and whenever you 3D map the, 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 the ear canals, most people have oval ear canals. So they did that and I think they're, I think they're not bullshitting either because these are the most comfortable headphones I've ever seen. They don't fall out, they rarely, they don't, they've never fallen out for me at all, ever. Uh, they're, they rarely get un, 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 unsnug. They rarely come loose. Uh, they're very good. They're very comfortable. They don't create that weird pressure that you feel in your ear whenever you're putting some, some noise canceling earbuds that go inside your ear. They don't create that. You feel it at the beginning, but it, it smoothly begins to uh, adjust itself with the tip, with the tips that are included, uh, so that you don't feel that at all, and you still get that great feel, that seal. Sorry. It comes with a gold-plated uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. It's uh, it is uh, gold plated. Let me get that better. Let me get that into focus. There it is. It is gold plated. It's great. Uh, it, it, uh, gold uh, pr uh, promotes connectivity, which helps with the quality. The only thing uh, bad about these headphones is, are the wires. They're very thin. They're very thin compared to like maybe some Shores or Edamonics. Uh, however, I'm sure that if you do take care of them very nicely, it should last you a while. I'm sorry, you guys, but the warranty does not cover the wires. So if you do mess up on the wires, or through wear and tear or whatever, then I'm sorry, but they won't cover them. The earbuds are really, really small, and they're very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, they're small, as you can see here. I have a quarter lined up here. And you guys can just compare the sizes there. There they go. They're very small. I'm sorry, guys. This I'm, I'm recording off my webcam, so it's a quick cam Pro 9000, so uh, it tends to have auto focusing issues, especially whenever you put objects that are near or far. So basically, these headphones are great. They're probably the best headphones I've tried under the $200 range. Uh, they're extremely affordable. Like I said, $80 for some headphones like these are incredible. Uh, they're very small. They're safe to PC. Comes with a carrying case, your ear wax remover, which is very important whenever you're dealing with headphones that go inside your ear. They do come with several different sizes. Uh, you could order some tips also if you'd like from uh, from pardon me, Clitch a website directly. They're like 13 bucks however, they're kind of expensive. But basically those are the headphones. Uh, from 1 to 10 I would probably rate them from 1 to 10 for performance, I rate them a 10. For uh, aesthetics, I rate them a 9. For uh, price, for value, I rate them a 10. And for um, comfort, I rate them a 9. Uh, they're extremely good. They're very nice. They're very... Um, they feel durable. The cable also feels like a, a durable, but it's thin, which I know is going to give out after, after the long run. Uh, but, I mean, that's fine. That's $80 headphones. I mean, you you can't expect them to give you everything for $80. Uh, I understand they're trying to stay in business and everything. But basically, there you go. Those are the reviews. Um, if you want to get them out, uh, you can purchase them online. Or you can purchase them on retailers if there's any in your area. Uh, basically, uh, Best Buy, Price, and a few other ones. Uh, do give you uh, the, the buyer's assurance kind of crap where if you don't like them, return them for a 15% restocking fee, whatever. Uh, try them out if, if you're looking for better sound, if you don't care about the sound quality, keep using your stock earbuds. If you're looking for a great improvement, these are definitely a, a number one choice. Alright, well, just uh, like always, uh, make sure that you guys do your own research. I do research them very thoroughly for all my purchases. But you should do your own research. I do promote self-thinking. Uh, don't always rely on what people tell you. Uh, do your own research. Study by yourself. Uh, listen to the experts. And enjoy.